Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. If you've been following me for a while, you know that one of the very first shops that I owned was a printable wall art shop, and I was able to have a lot of success from it. I quit my nine to five job. I even went traveling around the world for a while while receiving passive income. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I would start a new wall art design from start to finish. Make sure to stay to the very end of the video and subscribe if you haven't already, if you want to learn more about selling on Etsy and how to be successful at it. So let's get right into the video. All right, welcome back. So the first thing we need to do is figure out what kind of style of wall art we want to do. And I know a lot of you probably own like iPads and you like to do your own designs, which is great. And I do a lot of that myself as well. But for some of you guys, you guys are maybe are more just designers where you would have to have certain assets to create your designs and layouts. So one place I always recommend is places like Creative Market. I have a link down below in the description. If you want to check this place out, they have very high quality assets that you can use for your designs. So this is something that I purchased a while ago, this abstract modern wall art library, where they have a lot of different assets you can use to create designs. And before you purchase things like this, you want to make sure that you're purchasing the right license. You want to make sure that you're not getting the personal version. You want to get the extended commercial or just a normal commercial, depending on what you want to do with it. All right. So make sure you double check on that, how you can use it. You can't just purchase the personal and uh, sell it out. Since I've already bought it, I'm just going to download this again and show you the step by step. But this is going to be the example I'll be I'll be using these assets. All right. So I have Photoshop open now, and this is my preferred design uh, software. And you can use places like Illustrator. You can even use Canva if you really want to create these designs and layouts. But for me, I'm going to be using Photoshop because that's the most comfortable in this one. And I will show you how easy it is just to drag and drop designs to create your own layout. Okay. And obviously I'm going to have my folder downloaded. This is the abstract folder. And they come with like a lot of uh, designs that are created for you and also just the individual elements. And we're going to be using the individual elements because we don't really want to use existing designs. We need to create our own original designs from their assets. And that way it kind of does create more originality. And also the license agreement tells us that we cannot just use existing designs to, to resell. We have to kind of add some creativity and create our own out of it. And I'm going to make something very simple. I might have to put <laughs> certain parts of this out to skip because it might be a little bit longer. But I'm going to just create something very minimal and just do some outline shapes. I'm just going to start dragging shapes in here. I don't know, maybe make some cool compositions from it. But I'll try to do it as quick as possible. And you kind of never know how it looks until you're doing it. So hopefully this comes out all right as I'm filming this. So right now I'm just going to create the layout, the composition first. And then later on I can worry about the coloring. Because, I mean, you can, you know, stick to this this color if you really wanted to, but uh, I kind of want to create something more mono monochromatic because that's kind of what I like to do. But uh, yeah, we'll just kind of see from here. Let's see. I'm just going to go quickly. What is this doing here? Kind of like having the three shapes, to be honest. And some of these assets, since they're such HD high resolution files, you can kind of make them bigger, slightly bigger without losing the quality. Oh, and for this file, I am using a 18 by 24 inches image, which is a three by four ratio file. I'll also link another video showing you exactly the file size that I used to create these. Okay. So actually I'm kind of liking this already, to be honest, maybe I'll make this slightly bit, something like that. It kind of has a nice white space around it, but obviously I'm not going to get too deep into the, you know, the art theory and, and that, cause that's obviously very subjective. So <laughs> I just want to show you exactly how I would do this design. So maybe I'll just stick with this for now, or maybe I can add something else. Let's see. I don't know what these are splatter to create additional textures. Oh, that's kind of weird. Okay. I'm going to leave it like this and oh, let me just move this. So as you can see, there's only three layers in here and you can do this with any other app, right? If you're doing with Canva, you can easily put these in, but I kind of want to create. Okay. You guys are probably gonna be hating this, but okay. I'm just gonna leave it like this. I don't want to play around too much. <laughs> I'm just trying to make a video here. Okay, so let's say this is if this is done. And what I would do is I just save it as a JPEG. I personally use JPEG. You can use PDF, PNG if you really want, wanted to in different styles, but I just do a JPEG and I'm gonna put the the link of the video of how you can create different ratio files. Because this is a three by four ratio file, an 18 by 24 inches, uh, 300 DPI image. But you're gonna want to create multiple different ratios and different files. Like I use five different files just so that people can put it into a two by three ratio. They can put it into a fourteen by a third, a eleven by fourteen. They can do an international file. So there's a different, a couple different ones you can convert it into, so people can easily 
print these to any size they want. But this is pretty much what I would do. I would go into places like Creative Marketplace, find graphics that you might want to use, and obviously definitely do some design elements. Like I would actually do a bit more than this. This is like pretty minimal. But yeah, you want to make sure that you don't just use their elements right away. And you want, do you want to make some modifications? So for me, I kind of modified some of the tones, the colors, things like that. But you know what? I'm going to sh quickly show you how I would put this in the mock-up as well. One second. All right, so welcome back. Right now, I have a mock-up file open. And these kind of files, you can purchase them from Creative Marketplace as well if you're interested in getting pre-made mock-ups. And what we're going to do is from the last design here, we saved it into a JPEG. And we're going to place it in here and I'll show you exactly how easy it is. So most of these mock-up files, they normally have a layer that says image here. All right. So we're going to double click on this. And this is a smart object where you would place your design. And let's go back to the design. I put it here as art example. I'll place it in. And let's see if this is a, yeah, it's pretty much a three by four ratio. I mean, you can say slightly difference, but uh, you can just push it out. And this way a little bit as well. Perfect. So top and bottom is going to overlap like a couple pixels, but it's totally fine. And what we're going to do is just command W or just control W to save it. And there you go. So there's your image. It's always a good, I mean, for me, an extra bonus tip is to see how it looks in a mock-up. Sometimes the design could look good. Let's say this looks good. If you put it into a mock-up, sometimes you can see certain things better. You can see it from far away from a different perspective. It might look weird, it might look different. So it's always good to see, oh, you know, it looks good in a mock-up as well then perfect. Now you have the digital file. You have the mockup that you want to use to present it. And last thing is just create multiple ratios, which will have a link that you can check out, which is the next step. So there you go. Hopefully this has helped you out into your journey into creating wall art, digital printable wall art for Etsy or any other e-com platform. So hope you enjoyed it and follow for more. If you want to learn more about how to succeed on Etsy and sell on Etsy, uh, make sure to subscribe and like. And let me know if you have any questions, comment, the, comment below. <laughs> okay, thank you. Bye.